Okay, so some people say to me, I speak fast and people tell me that I speak fast and I can't stop myself. Sometimes I'm not even aware that I'm speaking fast, but then other times I can actually speak faster. And, and that to me up to now has been a good thing. You know, sometimes this can mean that I demonstrate that I'm more intelligent because I can think and speak fast. But the reality is the feeling of somebody speaking fast when the listener is listening, it actually feels very uh, breathlessness. Like I, I feel breathless listening to you. I can't breathe because what happens is we match and mirror ourselves. So somebody who's truly engaged with you will feel the energy of you speaking. And what usually happens is the breath is affected for the other person. And if you notice your breath, it'll be very up here. It's not deep in the belly where it's calm. I mean, we're talking about breathing deeply where the belly button is, the navel, deep into the ribs. If you were to breathe like that, your larynx, your voice box drops down a little bit and it's way more calming and spacious. And it gives you time to really emphasize words that you think are more important or it gives you time and space to inflect. It gives you time to pause because your body's calm, because the breath is low and calm. Now, if the breath is high up here and your mind is racing and there's a belief that says, if I speak fast, I'm going to be, I don't know, perceived as being more intelligent. Because I have heard, I'm not saying you are doing that, but I have heard people say this to me. Um, the reality is, have you ever checked in with somebody listening who can articulate how they feel? Because a lot of people just feel uncomfortable, but they can't tell you what's going on or they feel overwhelmed. So in this case, with with you listening to you speak, I was feeling overwhelmed. Like, what, what what's going on? Like, what's the most important word? There was no mo most important word. Everything was at a level 10. So when everything is at a level 10, it's like a monotone and plus like the rhythm's going... It's not going like music does, has rhythm. And so those different rhythm pieces actually help us follow more. We end up distinguishing like which words are more important, which words aren't. Uh, all of those are tools, non-verbal information in the tone of how we speak, where we can start to get information about what's more important, what isn't more important. Now, this happens only if the speaker is in tune with their body. If the speaker is calm, the breath is low, if they feel safe, if they feel they can take their time. Now, I also hear, no, I can't take my time. My boss is always really rushy, 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 and he wants me to speak fast. The situation is, in that case, that's his business. I'm not saying go very slow in this case. You do need to pick up the pace. But remember, the calmness and the intonation, the style of the delivery is more important than getting your 250 words out per minute. Right. What's more important is the meaning of what you're saying, actually using less words, if you can, and using more emphasis, pauses, eyes, the eyes also communicate, facial expression, feeling it, and almost controlling the environment by the way you speak, because of what, what you're saying is important enough. Now, if you don't believe it's important enough, you won't do that. You'll just quickly hurry up, just get done. Oh, I just want to get it done and, and say it and that's it. I'm done. But you don't realize that's like just throwing food on a table and not putting enough salt in it, not arranging it beautifully, maybe using some colors in your food so then somebody wants to sit down and enjoy the meal. You're just going, here it is, have it. And it may be an important conversation, but you're not taking the time because you're feeling pressured by a manager that wants you to hurry up. Usually what they want you to do is be concise. They want you to get to the point and they want you to make it meaningful. And to make it meaningful isn't just to get 250 words out, but it's maybe to use 120 or 100 and inflect them, pause them and use different rhythms like da-da-da-da-da-da, da, 
だだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだだ So rhythm, inflection, like hey, you know, and that didn't really, really work. And so what we did, do you see how it's, I make it kind of musical? And it makes it more interesting. It engages the manager who's bored and wants to hurry up. Because what they're tired of is too many words all dished out the same and them struggling to find meaning. So they push you. So, yeah, consider that.